Hello everyone, it's almost Halloween, which means it's time for another Halloween themed photo shoot. And this time we are going to a few different, different locations to check out some really spooky abandoned buildings. And as you can see, find me. I think this one tops the list. So we're at Karandu. Karandu, I think, I think that's how you call it. Karen do house and we're going to try and go to a few different locations if we can um, and take some really I don't know weird and creepy photos here so as you can see the buildings are completely abandoned so they give off that creepy vibe on its own um, but we'll also try and add some I don't know like spooky creativeness into the photos as well so let's do it I'm scared. Cairndu House was originally built in 1878 as a summer residence. Throughout World War II, it was used as a war hospital. However, in 1950, Cairndu officially opened as a convalescent hospital. A once grand mansion now stands derelict and there has been many stories of hauntings over the years. There have been numerous reports of paranormal activity from ghosts appearing in the windows to unexplained noises from underneath the floorboards. long exposure and the light has gone away very quick but I got a few shots around the other side there's more of the um, what do you call it like the little porch area has all the weird very I don't know dramatic looking wood around it and I thought the other side looked cool and there's a lot of uh, no idea what those plants are but I thought shooting <laughs> past those would be kind of cool and then obviously we have the front here with this tree that is just perfectly situated the branches just hanging down kind of framing the top part of the building and we have a path um, a little bit annoying that it's not centered but uh, I'm trying to center the building and then I've already got one in landscape I'm now taking one in portrait as well um, I would have hoped we would have a bit more time with the lights so I could just walk around and get a few more detail shots might still be able to get a few um, with the tripod but pretty cool pretty cool spot pretty terrifying pretty creepy spot <laughs> it's getting creepier by the minute here yeah I'm ready to go thanks <laughs> I'm gonna just try another uh, another portrait angle somewhere. I'm not sure.
You see that little bit of light over there? That's Chris. He's trying to light paint the building so we can get some light on it. So another day, another very cool abandoned castle. This time we are at, this place has a few names, Altnacree Castle, this Clune Castle, and I believe there's another one. Um, this building's pretty cool. It's just sitting right in the middle of this sort of, right in this valley, um, in this field all by itself with a very old wall around it. Um, yes, it's pretty big, deceivingly big, and yeah. I just got a shot, a few different shots from lower down in the field. Sunset was looking really good, so the light hit the front of the building pretty well. And I might not have to light paint this one. I think that probably will work for for the black and white photo as well. We may try something a little bit creative here. Not quite sure though. Uh, I don't really want to be here at dark, and I don't feel like we we need to be for this mm. one. But we we'll, we'll see what we can do. Les Clune Castle, also known as Altnagree Castle, or locally known as O'Gilby's Castle, was believed to have been built by William O'Gilby around 1860. It was once a large, elegant building with a magnificent banquet room, but is now in ruins. Altnagree Castle was abandoned only 20 years after its construction. Although there have been no reportings of paranormal activity, the castle definitely has an eerie feel as it sits empty in the valley. God, it's so windy. I don't think we're going to be able to get a lot of shots here because the tripod keeps falling over. We tried to fly the drone and it was kind of flying all over the place doing its own thing. Um, yeah, it's tricky. What are we going to do? That might have to do it. I think we got at least the shot that we came We for. got a shot, <laughs> I think so. And we did get some video, so yeah. We might have to head back and just go straight to the next location. Even the birds are struggling. Look at that bird. <laughs> We are at Musadin Temple for the third day. Uh, this is the last location I think that we're going to go to for this video. Um, we've been here before, so we kind of know uh, already knew what it looked like and tried to think about how we could get photos here. 
it's a beautiful building and you can almost like feel the history of what happened here and that gives it that sense of like eeriness about it. Sunset has just happened, uh, we walked around to try to get a few shots while there was still some light. So it's about to get pretty dark and pretty eerie. We're gonna try and do some light painting on this building again so hope, I hope you brought the lights. <laughs> I did. <laughs> okay let's see what we can do and it's also really windy again. Mm. The downhill domain here at Musadin Temple was built in the 18th century for the Earl Bishop. However, a major fire in 1851 damaged large parts of the house. And it unfortunately fell into disrepair after the Second World War. There's no doubt that the house definitely has an eerie vibe at night as it sits at the edge of the cliff along with the temple. And it is rumoured that every once in a while a puddle of fresh blood will appear on the ground of the temple's interior and will evaporate just as quickly as it appeared. these places at night is just there's something so eerie about it it's literally pitch black and when you shine in that light i can see absolutely nothing <laughs> i can see nothing by um, you. but we did a shot um some light painting out the front with the full face of the building which just looks really cool looking i think that'll look pretty good and now we're inside and we just did another one with there's a little arch and we lit it up and then we lit up the entrance area mm -hmm. and there's just a path right up the center which i think will look pretty cool Quite fun. um yeah quite happy with that it is starting to rain now so i think that's going to do us two of those shots i think should be should turn out how we how we wanted them to so let's get back to the car because it is freezing <laughs> And that brings us to the end of another Halloween photo shoot. It was a spit out. <laughs> it was such a fun one to make. Um, it was interesting to say the least. It definitely was a uh, a little creepy, very eerie, just being around those buildings. Cool to see them though. Yeah. And uh, yeah, just a, a kind of a different style of photography than we've probably done before. I mean, a, a little bit that sort of capturing like certain buildings and trying to make it a little bit creepier especially the light painting and stuff we have spoke about this before is that that's one thing we love about halloween is just how creative you can get and how you can just do different things and it's it's quite fun to do yeah like the, this video has obviously got a halloween vibe to it so did last year's one but they're completely different in the types of photos that were taken I, I think it was fun and hopefully you enjoyed it hopefully 
you like the photos as well we actually did a poll on the our community tab like we have done for the past uh, few videos and this one was pretty much just asking if you were interested in like do you like uh halloween themed photography um obviously it was actually after we had done this video so we were hoping that a lot of you would say <laughs> yes and the majority did it was by i think 61 percent said yeah. they love some halloween photography i think like 13 percent said no so you probably won't enjoy this video then but <laughs> we had fun making it okay so let's do what we always do what was your favorite photo this is actually a tough one for me i think with the way it turned out and the idea that we had the one of karen do house uh, the light paint at one um turned out pretty much exactly how I had it in my head and mm -hmm. um, we didn't really know exactly what we were going to do when we were out to take these photos we had seen a few photos that we liked and we didn't really know exactly what way we were going to do that we just knew the lighting was the building was backlit so we thought yeah. it's dark enough now and we'll try and light paint it and hopefully it turns out uh, the way we want it yeah there's a little bit there's quite a bit of editing gone into <laughs> that one quite a bit of in and out of photoshop to sort of add all the layers together and stuff but I'm quite happy with that one and to be fair I also like the uh, Les Clun one as well with the tree and the serious pile of birds just flying around. Which were all real. Yeah the they actually weren't. It was kind of eerie that they were all there because yeah, it it's just weird. it definitely has a Halloween vibe to it and there was nothing really done. That photo was mm -hmm. just edited. There was no Photoshop work done to it. Um, so yeah a lot of work to one and very little to the other one. I do like both. Yeah it's kind of interesting actually. Um, for me um, I think, I don't know, there's something about the one, the portrait one at Carndu House of the side of the house where you can just see the little porch that kind of looks out onto that very long grass. Yeah, there was something about that one for me whereas where I could like kind of envis envision like someone standing yeah. on that little ledge or I don't know, I, I just it give me that kind of vibe where it's like, okay, that's actually kind of weird. That's what I, that's at the time what I seen when I was, when I was just looking for different shots and it was like, I can imagine that's where somebody would sort of stand and it, it yeah. just looked kind of, mm -hmm. kind of creepy looking and it was a bit more of a detailed shot than the other ones. But yeah. with this whole video, it was kind of more, we wanted to sort of document those vil th those buildings with photography rather than make something creepy ourselves if that makes sense rather than carve a pumpkin or dress up in a way we wanted to go to places <laughs> yeah. that have an eerie a vibe costume. <laughs> yeah and document it even though the light painted one is obviously manipulated in a way but it still is very eerie just standing there looking at that building so mm -hmm. we wanted to have almost that like vintage photography sort of style and yeah. feeling to it which i think it does Obviously these buildings have been left abandoned for some time so there has been a little bit of uh, damage done or even the likes of Carndu House has a lot of graffiti. A lot. Like literally every wall had graffiti on it which kind of takes away from the photo a little bit because it would have been nice to have you know if the way it was. Obviously that's not the case, but yeah, it's it's just one of those things. Yeah, I mean, even with all the Photoshop, I wasn't sure how to get rid of that. There I don't was, think you ever could ever get rid of it. There all was that. so much of it and there was just some very interesting things some spread on it. Very interesting. As you may have seen at the end there, but uh <laughs> yeah. But anyway, that is enough blabbering. Hopefully you enjoyed this one, the the vibe we created and the photos and stuff. Feel free to let us know in the comments which photo was your favourite as well. And make sure to hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed it. And maybe consider subscribing if you want to see more. Also, I'd be very curious to know if any of you guys have been to any of those spots too. So let's True. Know. So as we always say, guys, take it easy. Don't be a stranger and happy Halloween. <laughs>